bringing the people behind our food to life. My crew is, is, is harvesting the uh, wheat today, um, and they're just taking off the heads, the very tops of the wheat plants. And they're burning them uh, to a crisp. And uh, this is a very traditional method of uh, preparing wheat in the Middle East. Uh, and it's called frika or frika or ferric or, or firk. There are all, all sorts of names. They all begin with F. We like to get it at between that milk stage and what's sometimes called the soft dough stage, where it's still white and, and kind of soft and spongy. And if you give it a squeeze, the, the, the traditional way of looking at it is you go out in the field and you just give that grain, you peel it back and you give it a, a squeeze. And if you get just a little drop of milk at the top, that is ideal for frickin' making. And then the result will be this lovely green, jade green grain that has just a bit of charring on the top. What the, the burning does, the heat, the heat stops the enzymatic process that, that's, that's shifting the, the sweet sugars, the simple sugars, into starch. So it just sort of stops the whole affair. And it adds that smoky quality. And you know, the smokiness of particularly, so you get the sweet grassy flavor because everything's sort of suspended animation at that point. It's not going to continue maturing. And then the smokiness is what makes this an exciting grain because it's one of the few sort of vegetarian dishes that has inherent smokiness that's as part of its traditional process. We're not adding liquid smoke to something and pretending that it's sausage. It is, it is part of the, it's, it's part of its original constitution, the smokiness. And, and so for vegetarians, it's this amazing grain. And a lot of our, our vegetarian customers absolutely love it because it's, it's the one place that you can get true smokiness, not something that's derived from who knows what. The first year, this is how we did it. We sat down, our first run, I didn't know if it would be any good. So we took a plumber's torch, a little tiny blow torch. Never invest in equipment before you're ready to, you know it's any good. So we had our little plumber's torch that we used for sweating pipes and loosening up nuts and bolts. And we burned them on a, on a little pan, a cookie tray. And I remember tasting it, just like this. It just burned, and I went, I'm going to get some torches. <laughs> I'm going to get some big torches. This is good, and uh, never look back. I mean, this is just amazing. We have the burnt heads. They're put in a trailer, and, and then I'll bring them over to the thresher. And then they go through the thresher, and the thresher knocks the grain out of the head. It's a big, noisy, complicated machine that, you know, scares all the, the wildlife around here for a while. And we knock out our, our uh, the grain and it comes out pretty clean. And then uh, after we've threshed it, we have to put it out on trays um, with screen bottom. It has to be dried very, very carefully. And uh, about two weeks after we've harvested it, it's ready to, ready to, um, Put into a sack. It's dry and, and stable. Once we have it in the in the bag, then we can sell it um, and use it. I like to keep it seasonal. It's a special seasonal uh, grain, and uh, you know it fits well with summer. Neither Carol nor I hang on to our seasons. When when summer and fricka season's over, cold cold. Um, Fricka and buttermilk soup season's over for us. It's time to jump into the richer root vegetables and stuff of, of, of winter. And we see that around here. I love watching, we have coyotes here. And they do the same thing. All summer long, they're eating fruit. And because they don't need the, the protein to keep them hot. Come November, December, they'll start digging out and rooting out the bull nests and, 
and and uh, mouse nests and 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 that's their that's their t season to go and find find a bit of protein. So I follow the coyotes' lead on that. Um, you stay cooler if you're eating fruits and vegetables in the summer.